Good morning. Um, it's been a whole week, seven days of this TV fast. That's my mother-in-law taking a shower. Um, I am not home. I'm in California. I'm visiting my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and nephew. It's my nephew's birthday. He's turning three. Super exciting. Happy birthday, Jackson. Um, hmm. So I'm doing this post to reflect on this last week. It's been seven days. Yay! And um, it hasn't been royally hard. It's been um, some, some difficult times. Yesterday, um, when we got into California, I, um, <clears throat> we stayed at my uh, sister-in-law's for a little bit visiting, and um, Jackson opened up some of his birthday presents from his friends. His party's today, but he had a little early presents. And uh, <clears throat> when we got there, the TV was on, so I went to another room. <laughs> my sister-in-law was like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Oh, and I told her I was on a TV fast, and she was really cool about it. She was like, oh, we can just turn off the TV. So, um, but yeah. Uh, it hasn't been too, too, too super hard. It's just really been hard eating dinner, not in front of the TV. But I started reading um, The Order of Melchizedek, and um, I I'm think I'm starting to get a little, little bit... Um, about really what this fast is about, why God is pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. It's a lot of to do with um, moving forward spiritually. And um, reading the book has really been helping me to see that I need to move into the kingdom and move from religion and from Christianity into kingdom living and, and into this place, this mindset, this spiritual being of um, kingdom living with kingdom principles and um, just annihilating as it's funny because obviously I'm reading this book after the prophetic word that God gave through me and um, and the part where it says dismantle the church oh so intense and I was I really had fear about um, delivering that word with the phrase dismantle the church because I didn't know <clears throat> how people would take it if they meant if they would think that, you know, I or God was saying to um, close the church or or anything like that. So, you know, I think as time goes on and as I'm studying, as I'm praying, um, more is coming out about the internal dismantling, um, <clears throat> the schism, dismantling. <laughs> Um, and being able to really move to the place of really living in the kingdom, really living out what what did Jesus bring um, access to for us? Um, it's it's really I, I think I'm like I did this earlier. I think it's like this. I'm like just a little bit. I'm starting to get so. Um, this week has been really good. I'm really looking forward to next week. Next week, Saturday, I'll be doing another post. I won't be in California. I'll be at home. But um, <clears throat> I will, uh, and I also have Enough is Enough Part 2 coming up. I'm working on that. So um, follow my blog. And um, I, I, I'm going to start a um, putting up scriptures so people can use as a devotional of how to move out of complacency and live radically. So um, I look forward to um, sharing with you guys, and uh, I will speak with you soon. Have a good one. Bye.